I'm going to make for you now a wonderful meatloaf or a terrine as such using some pork and some herbs. We're going to keep it really moist, really juicy and we're going to spice it up with a little bit of relish. So we've got some pork mince, really fresh pork mince, important. Nicely diced onion. Some bacon. Now, with the rashes of bacon, I cut the ends off just to make it a bit shorter. I dice those ends of the bacon up and I'm going to put those into the centre of the terrine here. And we've got some, a couple of eggs just to help bind it all together. Give these a nice little whisk just to make your job a bit easier when we go to mix it all through. got some tomato relish here. Now you can use any type of relish you want. If you want to use something a bit spicier, put some spice in there. If you just want something nice and sweet, use a bit of tomato sauce. It doesn't have to be the relish. We've got a bit of Worcestershire here. Add a little bit more depth of flavour, a bit more character. As much as you like, really. Some herbs. We've got here some sage and some parsley. Now you can be a little bit more... Uh, Flexible with the herbs as well. If you're growing some herbs at the back, use whatever you like, as long as it kind of goes with pork. You could even use some celery tips if you've got some celery in the, in the fridge, you know, little, little flowers and celery. So again, with our herbs, start with a nice little tight bundle in your hand. Just makes the job a bit easier to chop it down. Now I've got a really good trick for you coming up. If you don't have a terrine mould or a, uh, a meatloaf tin, we're gonna, we're gonna make it nice and rustic. We're gonna shape it using some cling film. Herbs in. Good bit of salt. Now, remember we've got bacon in there. Bacon's got a salty characteristic to it anyway, so don't, don't over season on this one. Pepper if you like. We're gonna get this really mixed up. So you can really smell the flavours coming out of this, this meatloaf. Okay, so it's come together nicely. I can feel it. The meat is all bound together nice and tight. So now we're going to move on to shaping it. So now we're going to show you a nice little trick here using some cling film. Over your board. We're going to double it up. And using our bacon rashers. How good is bacon? Seriously. Is it not, not one of the most beautiful items ever invented? Whoever came up with it, such a great idea. So our bacon's lined out, nice and flat. I've just, just uh, crisscrossed the bacon over so that it's overlapping. And then our meatloaf mixture. Pack in the middle here. Roll that up, push it down. I'm using the, the cling film here to press it into the meat. And this is really gonna impress all your friends. Now if you feel that's a bit soft, pop it in the fridge for 20 minutes then take it back out. But this one's nice and firm. So we're gonna go straight onto the tray. Now we're going to get this into the oven. So our pork and bacon meatloaf, really nice, moist, juicy, has been in the oven for about 40, 45 minutes and it's looking pretty good I reckon. And this would go fantastic with a nice glass of chardonnay.